YouTube Super Thaxor here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys as a request of one of my viewers how to run a Mac on your uh, on your iDevice. Now you can't run the official Mac OS like Snow Leopard, Leopard, any of that on uh, your iPhone or iPod Touch because uh, frankly the RAM isn't enough and you don't have enough space. Even even with the 64 gigabyte models of the iPod Touches and stuff. Um, it still wouldn't look that great considering the LCD or the screen and stuff like that. So in the processor, so it's not going to be that great. You could run a, you could create a custom firmware for it, but uh, frankly, no one's got the time or know how to do. Well, people do have the know how, but no one's got the time to do it, and uh, they got better things to do. Why don't you go get an actual Mac? But anyways, so what what I'm going to show you is as you can see, I'm, I have a theme. I've created a theme for. Uh, for the, my uh, springboard to uh, theme it like a Mac OS Snow, OS X Snow Leopard. I got SB Rotator, which incorporates the dock there. I got the Illumine icons because they just look nice. And um, I got the uh, Snow Leopard background dimmed a little bit so you can see the, the icon names and stuff. So it's it's pretty good, uh, pretty good theme. I like it. I created it myself. Um, for information on uh, SB Rotator and some other stuff, you can check out my other videos. But uh, so we're going to get into this today. What this does, this little thing is called Remote Tap right here, is it lets you uh, run, and well not run, but it lets you view and control your MacBook Pro, iMac, MacBook, any type of Mac on your iPhone or iPod Touch, or iPad, I believe. I'm not sure about the iPad if it's supporting. But, uh, so yeah, it's uh, very handy, and it is uh, pretty cool. First, you have to download a free client for your Mac, as you can see right here, Remote Tap, off, configure it. Um, I'm just going to turn it off for now, just for a second, and then uh, as you see here, I, I got my iDevice, um, and there is an app here, it is available in the App Store for four ninety nine, seven ninety nine. I don't know the actual price, but it is available in Instalist for you, for all you, uh, for all you Hackulous users, it's, it's available in Instalist, just search up Remote Tap, okay, so I'm going to go into it and show you the settings. Now I turned it off on my Mac so that I can show you how the uh, actual settings on the iPhone are, otherwise it's going to automatically log in, which it's trying to do right now as you can see. So there we go, it's disconnected from it. Okay, so just going to rotate my device up. Now what you do is when you first join, when you first uh, log into it, there's not going to be anything here. As you can see, I'll do it with you guys. So it's just going to look like this, okay? So just make sure that it's turned on on your iDevice, or on your Mac, okay? And then just click the little plus arrow right there. Alright. And then just click on scan as it said to search for Macs. Okay, and there's my MacBook right there. So you're going to type it in, and uh, you do have a password for it. Yeah, I don't really care if you know my password. I don't even think I know my password, actually. And then now uh, we're going to hit done. And then we're just tap and hold it, and it'll auto connect it. So now we're going to try and see if we can log into it. And there we go. As you can see, I can view my uh, iDevice on here. And uh, you can pinch to zoom. As you can see, I'm zooming in. Okay. I am controlling my Mac. If I click this little, hold on a second, rotate the iPhone again. If I click this little thing right here, it oops, it allows me to do this. Have, see how I'm moving the mouse around? It allows me to do that without actually, uh, without doing anything. Because if you have that off, oops, I keep clicking that. If you have that off, then it's going to click everywhere. And you can't really drag it around because the drag means just to move the screen. So you just tap it, and then you can move it around and do whatever you want. If you're playing games and stuff like that. Then uh, you can also uh, tap an icon. Like say, for example, this little thing right here. That little icon is too small for me, so let me just zoom out a little bit. As you can see, it is way too small for me, and if I try to click it, I'm probably going to miss. As you can see, I'm missing. Oh, I hit it. Okay, anyways. So what you can do is you tap it and hold it, and it'll bring up this little window. This is like a zoomed window, or like a magnifying glass. So then you just click on the Apple logo, and then there you go, and then you can click on whatever you want. So it's pretty nifty. Um, this one right here brings up your keyboard. Okay, standard keyboard as you can see, it's pretty nifty, uh, it rotates it this way as well. Okay, you can use it in portrait or landscape mode, I prefer landscape because uh, Macs are usually wider than they are long, so it fits kind of nicely. Um, so you do have all your shift control, option, command keys, and your arrow keys here. 
You can also click this little thing right here. And if you're typing a sentence to someone, then it'll type the whole sentence in here for you. And then you can just hit return or done or whatever. Okay. Um, the next one is this little icon. And what this icon is, is as you can see, it brings up some little uh, extra little things, keyboards. There's some little uh, regard messages, go back, go back again, brings up your F keys, brings up that keyboard, these, this keyboard, that one. It brings up a whole bunch of different stuff, okay? Um, the next one is this one right here. Oops. That one right there. And what this one is, is your music player. So I can open up my iTunes from here. If I actually go and open up my iTunes. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Let me click down here. Zoom it up so I can see. Click on the iTunes. Open it up. And then uh, I'm not going to hit the play. I'm just going to hit that little button again. Hold on, let me just move this over for you guys so you can see. Oh. Okay, well, you probably won't be able to see this then. But anyways, uh, let's see if I can do it. There we go. So I'm just going to uh, click the play button. As you can see, my music starts to play and my little growl pops up. Pause it. You can turn the volume up or down. Done. Um, the next little window that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to command and cue my iTunes. Next little window I'm going to show you is this one right here. And this one is used for r running your apps. The first screen shows you your, your running apps. If you click on dock, it shows you all your docked icons. I have my running apps in my dock and that's it. So that is why they are the same. And if you click all, it shows you all your apps. This is uh, very similar to do. And then you can just click on uh, any one of them, like mail. Click on mail. And there's mail for you. Okay, and then I'm going to pinch to, to zoom in. Or I'm just going to tap and zoom in. And then I'm going to hit the X. Okay, and then I'll open up this keyboard. Click on that and hit command Q. And then that'll that'll close my window for me. The next little one is your X or your spaces, as you can see. And I uh, I don't really use spaces, but yeah, so that opens up your spaces, and you can connect to different displays and stuff. Um, your next one is your music icon. Now, if you tap this, it enables the music. Oops. Tap it off. It disables the music. Tap and hold it and it brings up your Mac volume slider. Okay, so I can turn the volume down. And if you look up right here, you will also see that the volume does go up and down. As you can see, it's going up, and it should be full right now. So let's look, okay, and then let's go down. So you can see it is moving up and down. So that is what that's for. And the info just shows you general information about it. Um, or you can just select a help topic here. Okay, custom keyboard help. Okay, what does that do, what does that do? And you can just check on all of these, all right? So we're just going to hit done. So that's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty nifty app. Okay, the link's in the description for the uh, download client for your, um, for your Mac. Okay, and uh, yeah, oh, the last feature I got to show you is this one. Okay, and this is the power, or the sleep, as you see. So it's put it to sleep, if you tap it, hold it, and I don't think anything happens. No, nothing happens if you hold it. I just wasn't sure about that. I never thought about trying to hold it. So, uh, yeah. Hope this has been uh, pretty informative to you. This does run over a Wi-Fi signal, so you do have to connect using Wi-Fi, and the two devices have to be on Wi-Fi. But I can go anywhere in the house and still be on this. If you can see, I will actually uh, leave the room right now, so I'll just point you over towards my door, and I'll bring uh, my iDevice with me. Okay. And I'll leave the room right now, and I'll be right back. As far as your Wi-Fi can... Uh, reach and as you can see I opened up pages there just to uh, just to say something so uh, yeah this has been Sulit Haxor and I hope that this uh, video has informed you and uh, have a nice day